Hey everyone, so I'm out here at some nice Miocene era deposits, so around about 10 to 12 million years old. Looking for crabs, whales, penguins, anything cetacean, and I really want to find a whale ear bone and shark's teeth, of course. There is just so much to look at down here, and these cliffs are impressive. Let's see if we can find something. <laughs> Five minutes in and I found the remains of a fossil crab. Really damaged. This is the ventral side, the bottom. You can see uh, this is the back going up towards the front. Yeah, and I think I'll keep this one. <laughs> it's quite damaged. But they're out here. I don't recognize the species. It's not the Tuminocarcinus ones. From what I can see, it looks quite different. Let's go find, see if I can find a whole one. Oh, this piece of bone. Still in the concretion. You can see there's a little bit going on there, up top here. Through the side here. It's interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. It's pretty small, I like. Yeah, there's quite a bit of ground to cover here. <laughs> Look at all these rocks and concretions. Oh man. Okay, so I haven't found much at this new area. I'm gonna head back to where I found that whale skeleton, or the whale skull. But I'll show you what I found. So I found this little top part of a crab. It's not very impressive. <laughs> I'm probably going to leave that. Just thought I'd show you. And the most interesting thing I find is this little concretion. There's a little bit of something sticking out on that side. But if you look there, there's something that could be in the shape of a claw. I'm not too sure this is a definite maybe. I'm going to keep that. It's small enough to just take along. Cool, let's head off to the whalebone area. Beautiful day down here, there's no wind. Back where I found that other big piece of whalebone and also the skull. And look, that piece of bone I left here is still here. <laughs> That's awesome, I'll take that back for sure. Yeah, some old big pieces of bone. Have a look in there. I saw another one down here. Those are big. Hmm. So, here's a piece. There's two or three pieces over there. Follow it along here. Here's another piece. And here's another piece over here. What if it came out of this rock slide? Yeah. I need to find the ear bone. see if I can find anything head shaped or skull shaped <laughs> again <laughs> well, I don't want to carry it back again this time I'll get some help yeah so I'm done on this side I had a look around those bones for like half an hour and I can't see anything that I think is an ear bone I did find this though I'm gonna keep it just because it's interesting looking I don't know if it's even a piece of bone I like the shape of it though. I'm gonna take it home, it's not very big. And I'll just research it a bit. Then the piece of bone I decided to take back is this one. About a, what's that, maybe a foot section. Really big. What I'm gonna assume is a jawbone, just by the shape of that. I don't think it's a rib.
think I see a piece of petrified wood. Hmm. Have a look. Yeah, that definitely looks like petrified wood. <laughs> it's, it's rocky. <laughs> and I see growth rings. <laughs> That's unexpected. I've never found it here before. That's great. <laughs> That's a little unexpected surprise. It's a big chunk as well. Anyone spot that? Pretty piece of whale bone. Or bone. Probably some kind of cetacean. Judging by the size. Really cool patterns. And a small piece. <laughs> Not far from where I found this piece of petrified wood. Oh, there's, there's another piece of bone, just next to it. It's always interesting looking at these little places where small stones collect. It's normally something interesting in there. I think that's a piece of petrified wood. That's very cool. Yeah, it looks very similar to that piece I found like two minutes ago. I'll keep that. See something interesting on that rock. Looks like a piece of bone sticking out. Yeah, that's definitely bone. Oh, it's coming through. I'll take that, huh? Looks like there's a little, tiny bit sticking through there. It might be a little bit of a bone cluster. Yeah, that's interesting. Just taking my time going through these little spots where there seems to be a whole bunch of rocks just tumbling around. It always looks like Jasper. Hmm. Another piece of bone. <laughs> Tiny bits of bone everywhere. So I'm still at Martinau. just found this quite interesting piece. If you look where my thumb is, there's definite bone structure showing there. But I've got no idea what it is. It's very strange. Then as I was looking at it, I noticed this sticking out. You can see there's definite pieces of bone in this concretion. And they're not very big, which is exciting. So let me see if I can get it out. Oh yeah, that's cool. All those pieces of bone there. Yeah, awesome. I'm not sure what part it is or what it is. That's worth taking back, I think. Clean it up a bit, see if I can identify anything. So I keep finding rocks with these holes in them that look like where barnacles have been or worms. No idea what they are, I'll have to go research it a bit. I think I see a piece of petrified wood. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that looks... That looks like it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at those growth rings there. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Looks like a fingerprint. Have a look there. It's really shiny and agatized. That might look really good cut. Yesterday's finds, as you can see, I had quite a good day. Big pieces of bone and some petrified wood and what I'm hoping is a crab over here. A little bit of everything really. I think this is part of a baleen whale rostrum or jaw. And you can see, there's it in inches, in centimeters. It's quite a large piece of bone. I'm really happy with that and the concretion is quite soft. I might be able to chip away at it towards the top there. This could be a section of rib. You can see there, there, and there. All parallel, all rib looking. Perhaps a small whale or a dolphin. And what's cool, what I only notice now, on this side, right over there, that could be a vertebra. Over there. Quite a round bone. Very cool. The only other thing I can think it could be is part of the flipper. I'm not too sure how big a, a whale flipper would be. But that looks to be in the range. Some more bone in a concretion. You see it starts over here. And it works all the way through on that side. And what's interesting is these little bits of bone sticking out there and there. Might be worth having a closer look at that one. I think this was the first piece I found on the day. Very small piece. There's a few little bits sticking out on this side. And this one, now that it's dry, doesn't look very interesting at all. <laughs> uh, that might be a garden rock. <laughs> Here's the first bit of petrified wood I found. You can see it's quite large growth rings. Maybe it's a palm tree or a fern compared to this one. This one's got very fine growth rings. As you can see there. Would have been a much harder wood, I think. Both of them are very cool. And here's that piece of wood I found in the last video. I forgot to include in my wrap-up. I'd actually washed it and left it outside to dry. <laughs> so I forgot to put it in the video, but uh, thanks for everyone that pointed it out. I didn't leave it behind. This is way too beautiful a piece to leave behind. I did bring it back. Here's that concretion I think's got a crab inside. You can see what it looks like. Perhaps a pincer sticking out there. If you turn around, it could be some legs on that side. And on that side over there, I think this is going to be a future prep. My stylus is still broken, I've ordered a replacement part, so as soon as it gets back I can do a bit more work on my finds. Here's the piece of bone I found in that little rock pool. I actually really like this piece of bone. Some parts of it almost look agatized. Look in there. It's really, really shiny. This is the one I found just next to it, and I thought it was bone, but after giving it a wash, it looks just like a piece of rock. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably not bone. <laughs> Here's what I think, after looking at it again, is probably also a barnacle. I don't think that's bone. You do get barnacles around there that are this color and shape. 
So I'm saying that's barnacle because I'm looking at it, um, even looking at it under the microscope, I can't see any bone structure to it. And at the bottom it looks like a piece of shell there. Thanks everyone for joining me on the hunt. Uh, great time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Some really chunky bits of bone that I found today and I'm blown away by how much petrified wood I actually found. Uh, thank you everyone that's been sending in photos for the slideshow at the end. Anyone else that wants to send it in, please do. Just put slideshow at the subject line. And yeah, I'll see you on the next hunt.